How y'all doing? Welcome to Alabama, South Alabama, on this balmy, hot. It's very hot. Hotter than the devil's underdraws. Mm -hmm. Saturday, June 26th. Hey y'all. <laughs> yeah, y'all help us wish a happy birthday to our brother in arms, Gene, Gene Murrow. Murrow. Yes, sir. Uh, I seem to have a situation. Let's rectify this. It's good to get me from walking into the damn grill. But, whoo, I tried to get away. Did, was it jumping them? Yeah, America. Woohoo! <laughs> Hazel, don't. So what are we doing today? We're doing pepper stout beef. See, Ryan even thinks we filmed this already. That's basically a pulled chuck roast. Remember, you can't talk away from the camera. You gotta talk to the camera. We're trying out. How long have you been doing this? Don't you know? I'm still learning. Okay. We're trying out a new thermometer. Thermometer? Enzu is the name of it. There's the remote unit. You can change all your settings and alarms on the remote, which is very nice. Has a 500 foot <laughs> I'm used range. I'm that. Yeah. Comes in a little case with winders for the probes and everything. <laughs> nice. It's like 40 bucks. This is our first time trying it, so. So far, so good. I'm gonna put on some hot gloves. Did you quit looking away from me? Well, I have to to see what I'm doing. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. Glove liners, cheap cotton gloves. Because you're a sissy. No, because that meat's hot. hot. Thank you, you like touching hot meat? No, not really. Okay then. And we're gonna. Got the 26 are going. Got some Weber briquettes in there. Weber? Weber. Where'd you find those at? In that bag right there from the discount stove. Awesome. I wish they still made that stuff. Oh yeah. I wish they did too. Mm -hmm. Put this last little rubber glove on. <laughs> All right. Y'all want to put these on or rub these with our Groovy Moo, our beef rub? You want the recipe? Maybe. Contact we'll us, where do you get these? We'll see. Took them to 165 internal temperature. I'm gonna slice them up a little bit before I put them in this Dutch oven. Yeah. Let me get over here so I can see what you're doing. Here, hang on. There you go. Please, man. What? There you go. Need a knife for that. Goofball. So what's the plan? You gonna slice them up and put yes. them in here with the... Uh... That is two Vidalia onions, diced. Woo, you smell them. Yes, sir. Two yellow bell peppers, one green bell pepper. I'm stealing an onion. Good tablespoon of diced garlic. And normally you would put this in here whole. Yeah. But we got two of them and not enough room to touch up, so I figured Hooking them up would be a little bit more gooder option. More gooder? Yeah. These started out as a two pound chuck roast and a one and three quarter pound shoulder roast because they only had one chuck roast. Yeah. But the shoulder roast was very pretty. Should have took some pictures before. Lots of marble. Good intramuscular fat. Yeah. So basically what we're going to do is put this back on the grill in this Dutch oven. Mm -hmm. But now the pepper comes in because of well, the peppers. Right. Let me show you where the stout comes in. Okay. Do I have to follow you? No. Okay. Usually you use a stout beer such as Guinness or some other stout. But Sorry, the store didn't have any with, Guinness. I was filming with two cameras there. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So we're using... Truck Stop Honey. Truck Stop Honey. Brown Ale. We're going to put this in here and just let it braise and get I'm all groovy and stuff. <laughs> we don't need quite two full ones. Well, I'll drink the rest of that one then. So, one and a half-ish. Yep. Thank you. Then we put the lid on. Mm-hmm. 
Make sure our grill is up to about 350 degrees, which it is. You can't see right now because I got the lid off. It's messing with the temperature gauge. Uh -huh. Close the lid. And we take that until it is fork tender and pulls apart and shreds. So it's what tender? Fork tender. Okay. Forking tender. Mm -hmm. And it pulls apart and shreds. We'll be back when we do that. We're also going to go over here on the flat top. And we're going to cook some taters and onions. And instead of serving these on slider buns or any other kind of bread, we're gonna, use a little... we're gonna serve them on tortillas. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna throw them tortillas on the uh, flat top and warm them up a little bit. Put them in a tortilla warmer, keep them warm or mm -hmm. ish, warm ish. Anyway, we'll be back in about six pack. It's gonna take about two to three hours for this stuff to get fork tender. You want, oh. when you stick two forks in there, you want it to shred. I gotta do like that because you do like that too. So. I talk with my hands. Yeah. Don't you? I do. <laughs> but. Easy. Mess with me again. Easy. Yeah. Where are we back? That thing's dull as heck, too. <laughs> Where are we back? Y'all, this is a mandolin. Not the one you play, the one you slice stuff with. Be very careful. I it will slice your finger. <laughs> I can't see what it's filming, but we're seeing what it looks like. It will slice your finger. You didn't cut yourself with once. Twice. But I'm not bleeding because it kind of just filleted a little bit. You know, we're going to do these taters and then we're going to do an onion. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in them, a little bit of groovy shake. We're going to fry them on the flat top. And we'll be back when I'm doing the onions. <laughs> okay, we have a pretty good size Vidalia onion here. We're going to slice this up on the mandolin. Without cutting yourself? Without cutting myself. <laughs> Maybe ish. Hey, you think if you stuck a fork in the top of it, you could do it? Nah. Forks are for losers. And what are we? Yeah, you have a point. <laughs> you have a point. Y'all check out Vert's new uh, bar top. Still working on the house, still crap everywhere. But it's gonna be all gooder. Once you get everything finished. Yes. But hey, but we're getting closer, so. Closer every day. Just yeah. creeping along. Yeah, no problems, everybody. Yeah, I, I need that little Handle holder thing. thingy majigger. You don't know where it's at, huh? Um, if I knew where it was at, I would have it. <laughs> all right, y'all, the rest of these I'm gonna dice up by hand with that knife and that little plastic cutting board. <laughs> put them in a little bit of water to keep them until we put them on the flat top. Y'all get your mandolin, but uh, make sure you don't lose your little handle thingamajigger. Taters and onions on the flat top, groovy shake, a little bit of butter. <laughs> I'm trying to get you to oh, look at oh, me. Yeah, I'm looking now. <laughs> Wait, dude, you are high. I know, right? You, you are high. You should be tested, you're high. <laughs> anyway. We'll be back, about three beers. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's tater time. We got a, oh, I don't know, half a stick of butter on here. Just getting all sass in. That was nice. Groovy and stuff. Yes, I now have central AC and heat. Thank you. Taters, onions, groovy shake. Juice. <laughs> Did you check to see how full that was? Yep. It's empty right now. <laughs> Smells really good. Oh, that, that. Smell is just wow. Smells really damn good. Uh, do we need to check the uh just check it? It's fine. We're gonna unveil it here in a few. Alright. So Y'all yeah, gonna... gonna let these taters and onions get all groovy and stuff? Don't drop them in the hole. Story of my life. <laughs> And a 
know it's probably smell that. <laughs> tell you Good what. God, that smells Until so we good. started doing this when all those cooking show hosts would say, I wish we had smell of vision I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's the truth. Man, that is smells so damn good. You know why it Maybe. smells so damn good? I don't know. Huh? It's that groovy shake. A groovy shake. Maybe if I get the camera close enough, they can smell it. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of in heaven right now. <laughs> Just, damn it. Y'all, in a little bit, when the taters are done, we we'll pull that beef or shred it, and we'll show you shredding the beef. I'm going to warm up some tortillas on here, put them in a tortilla warmer, and then we're going to have pulled beef tortillas. Cool. Pepper stout beef tortillas. Cool. Pepper brown amber beef tortillas. Okay. Yeah. We're we going to have beef. Yep. Yeah. Two sauces. Homemade ranch and homemade... Oh, that's yours. <laughs> I thought that was mine. I mean, you can have it. I thought that was mine. I love you, but no. I thought that was mine. Homemade ranch and homemade horseradish cream. Oh, did you put Worcestershire in that? Yes, I did. Okay. Couple Is that how rocks, you say that? Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Shire? Sour? W sauce. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to let all these get all magnificent. I'm going to try this angle from well, up that's here. kind of better than groovy. <laughs> we'll be back. Three beers. Yeah. All right, y'all. Usually I use a couple forks. Ouch. But I think this has gotten to the point where I don't need a couple forks. See how that shreds? No, hang on. Let me get... Should have put my light on. That is pepper stout beef, y'all. There's a lot of moisture in it, so we're going to slide it over the coals and let some of that moisture dissipate. Even with two glove liners on, it's really freaking warm. I was going warm. to ask if it was kind of hot. A little bit. I mean, you know, not yeah, like unbearable, but yeah. a little bit. Take the hot pan and flip that over. And it's just hot out here. Yeah, it's hotter than the devil's it's skivvies. Just, I just, I know, living in the south is muggy, muggy, muggy. All right, y'all. We're going to put that over there, give it a few minutes. And then we're pretty much... Yeah, we're pretty much done. We'll come back and we're trying. We're trying it, and hopefully there'll be a lot more people here. Yep. So, we will be back. Beer and a half. Two beers. A few beers. Um, sing I a got, song. I got to find one, another one in America cans. Sing us a song. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. Yeah, sing a different song. Sing a different song? Sing a different song. Just... Well, it's... No, no, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. Bye. Now? Yeah, no, wait. Yeah, go ahead. Still waiting. We're warming up some tortillas. And my neighbor's making noise. Okay. Which they're entitled to. These are uh, power tortillas. They're that brand. Have hey. your people call our people. <laughs> yes. There's Greg, y'all. What's up? That's not Greg. That's Greg Hall. Yeah, sorry. I get scared when they call me by my, both my names. <laughs> both your names. So after we warm these up, we're going to get everything plated up and try it, y'all. Yes, we are. So we will be back when we get ready to eat. Two and two. We're going to watch you flip and look, make sure you do it right. Well, of course I do it right. You think so? Yeah, you know why? Why? Because before I, we opened this episode, I did this. To make sure they work. You have to give three <laughs> test clacks. That was two. That was three. That was two. One, <laughs> two, a three. We're we'll back now. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> okay, we're ready. Go ahead. We screwed up. Yeah, we screwed, I screwed up. up. You screwed up. I was just Sorry. good. So anyway, we're gonna take one of these tortillas and another one of these tortillas. Yes, I just washed my hands. Like just washed my hands. Sure you did. No, I did. Soap and everything. No, oh, oh, that's taters. The taters are good. Y'all look at that. Oh my goodness. Just look at it. Just look at it. Smells it. really good. We're going to take some of this pepper stout beef and put on a tortilla. We're not going to overload it. A little bit less than that on mine. Okay. 
Is that enough flesh? Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Yes, I spilled some off the. Uh, yeah. There you go. That's good. Thing on the cutting board. I heard it flop. Now, what sauce do you want? Uh, on one end, I want one. On the other end, I want the other. Okay. This is. Horseradish cream sauce. Right, my finger. Not the first time I've heard that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded pepper jack cheese on that. Horseradish cream sauce. Yeah. Now, did you buy that or did you make that? I made this. Are you sure? We might include the recipe later. We might not. We don't. Just know. comment if you want the recipe, and then I will. Uh, yeah. Send you a copy. Yep. Of it. Oh, wait a minute. One end. Yep. That's kind of the middle end, the end, so. You know, get over it. This is homemade ranch. Right. I like that stuff. I do make good ranch, no. Is that taco ranch or just regular ranch? Just regular ranch. Just regular ranch. Hey, you ready? That's never gonna fold up. Well, that'll fold up. Watch this. We gotta put taters on there. Oh yeah, I forgot about the taters. So, yep. I'm gonna cover this, and we're gonna uncover these, and we're gonna get another fork. Y'all, look at them taters, oh my gosh. Here, I need to get that one right there. Okay. That's James's plate. Hi, buddy. That's my plate. I don't require much. That's for your taters. Thank you. That's for my taters. I'm gonna try the taters first. Really good. No, you can't mess the taters up, really. Those are really good. Oh my God. And you, you made all the stuff run out of it. I'm not responsible for that. Well, you smushed it down too hard. Try that with egg, Bert. Oh, yeah, we need to try those, too. I'm gonna, ooh, you try this first, and I'm going to try them deviled eggs, y'all. I'm going to let that cool off, man. That's hot. Yep. Oh, it's melting. The cheese is so hot. Uh-huh. That whole thing works really good. That is a uh, tater gator. Keeps it really nice and warm. How many one of those? When you get through cleaning or something. You just hold on a minute. I'm having they a moment. They didn't do what I said. You want this one? No. This one? Right no, here. not that the one. one? No. Right there? You sure? You sick. What about that one? Yeah, one you don't stick your finger on. Them. These are big hell's deviled eggs. They look really good. Mmm. They look good. Damn it, son. If y'all don't like deviled eggs, something wrong with you. Big time. Mm. Try your uh I'm gonna try to attempt to do this without Roar. Can you have me a Nope. Come on. That's a magic word. Hand me a damn paper towel. Do what I say. Yes, sir. Thank you. On that your end room. was the um. Yeah, you tell me. Uh, first one. Horseradish cream. Mm, that was really good. Sour cream, mayonnaise, prepared horseradish, a little bit of seasoning. Everything's really spice good. Spice lemon juice. What are we calling this one? Um, this is pepper stout beef tacos. Tacos. Yes. With deviled eggs and taters and onions. Oh my damn taters. Damn good. Deviled eggs. Oh my damn taters. So y'all remember what's yes. right here? Little button over here where you can watch another video. What's Little over here? Little button over here where you can subscribe, touch our ding a ling, you'll get a notification when we post a new video. Mm -hmm. That being said, y'all go to Instagram. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Good one. Look at somewhat.mediocre.cooks on Instagram. We got a lot of reels, a lot of pictures, a lot Good of time. short videos like that. And then <laughs> come back to YouTube and comment. 
If you want the recipe for either one of these sauces, comment me and Bert on. Yeah. Send it to you. Comment. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We'd appreciate it if you commented on YouTube. Like, subscribe. Very important, subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Because if we get more subscribers, then we'll make more episodes. Yep. With that being said, peace out, y'all. Next weekend is 4th of July weekend. 4th. Yes. Independence Day. Yes. That's when the United States became the United States. Yes. We'll see y'all next weekend. Yep. Love, like, and peace. Uh, cook a pork roast. Shred it up. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. Just saying. <laughs> Bye. Bye.